Jack Daniel Sinatra. Happy we own this bottle. Happy we bought this bottle. A little pricey. Also happy we got to try it at a bottle share before yeah. we did buy it. Because there's no way we would have purchased this bottle without trying it first. It's interesting. This bottle, I actually heard about several years ago before I got into whiskey. Somebody wanted to get their friend a really nice whiskey as a gift. And this was the one they picked. And they were both really into it. And I was like, huh, I wonder if it's that good. And then getting into stuff, trying Jack Daniels. We've had some nice stuff from them, but they're not, you know, we don't typically pay attention. But like you said, you know, we got to go to a bottle share, have a sip of this, and man, I am excited to to have our own bottle, crack it open on the channel. This is an excellent pour. We paid $180 for this bottle. It is a one liter, and it comes in this beautiful box with a whole book on this. Do you know any of the backstory on this bottle? Because I read this whole book, and I mean, it's... I got a little blurb on the back that says Jack Daniel and Frank Sinatra were friends or something. So I mean, you can you, know, you he can seemed like a guy you can this is his whiskey. This is actually a book, so you can read this on your own time. Um, but so Jack Daniel was was actually an ultra allocated whiskey uh, when mm. it first came out. People tasted it and they were like, "Man, this is delicious. We want this stuff, but we we can't buy it because it's, it's not being produced fast enough." Sound familiar? Uh, so Frank Sinatra would always have a bottle of Jack Daniels with him. And him and Jack Daniels were really good buddies. And here's another thing. Frank Sinatra would only drink it if it was a fresh cracked bottle. Wow. He wouldn't crack a bottle and then go back to it a week later and drink from that same bottle. He would always get a new bottle and fresh crack it. That's because he finished the bottle the same night. Probably. <laughs> uh, we have no proof of that. He is dead, so, I mean, it could have that could have been the cause. Uh, autopsy report, link above. Um, but, yeah, and this is, so this is a tribute to him and a tribute to his music, and we would play some music for you if YouTube wouldn't banish us into the kingdom of copywriting. Oh, it's so satisfying. Did you want to do this? Yeah, I do have, and you do have. It's not a big deal. Do have. Sure. We split this bottle, right? So it's 180 We paid $90 each. That, in my opinion, is the way to go. If you want to buy a rare bottle. Expensive bottle, anyway. Because, really, it's like you didn't pay a lot. Right? And one liter is... Yeah, now, right, you know, 90 bucks for this, I feel like it's a steal. Yeah. A real steal, and so... Do you want to get the cork pop, or do you, want, do you want to allow me? You got this. You got this. Pop it good, though. I don't want no sissy... I'm taking his hat off. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, it's very anticlimactic. <laughs> there you go. His hat is up there. There we go. I'm just going to move this off screen. because this I is think very that is, big, yeah. Very big. It's a very nice box to look at. But, but it's uh, very big, like me. Maybe not for the whole video. Yeah. Beautiful. As I smell my empty glass, because you just triggered my smelling thing. Does it smell good? <laughs> so good. So good. This is like a where we've had a few videos tonight, so just bear with us. He's like, this is payback for the bottle share. Pour oh, me a yeah. bottle pour. Now you know how I felt. <laughs> So it's a very unique nose. Right in some kind of peachy, fruity, mintiness. Right, it smells like a... I don't know. There's almost like a bubblegum to it. Yes! Thank you! I, <laughs> I wish I could come up with this I, shit I was gonna enough. say it first, a pink candle. A pink but candle. A, but the uh, bubblegum fits a little... It does have a bubblegum. Like a... Just a nice, like a, like, like, sweet... Yep, like a hubble bubble bubble gum. Like a little oak, a little spice, a little marshmallow. Yep. Smoke, there's some smoke in there. Yeah. Cheers. Frank Sinatra, I'm going to start listening to more of your music. This is probably my favorite Jack product I've ever had. I haven't had many. Had Jack 10 Batch 2, single barrel barrel strength, single barrel, regular Jack Daniels, and this. 
And out of those five, I'm not the biggest Jack fan. This is my favorite out of those five. Loads of just delicious delectable fruits. Almost like strawberries. I'm getting like a strawberry yeah. note. Vanillas. Oak on the finish, but a really like refined, just a really nice oak. Not even sweet, but just, I, I feel like rich. Rich. Would almost be my word for it. Fairly, very oily, coats the palate very well. Yeah. Not buttery. Buttery and oily are different. I would say this is more oily. It really flows through the mouth really well. Makes your taste buds happy. And I'm still, I just got like, like a bit of apple on my finish. Mm. I don't know where that's coming from. Apple, I would say, I would relate it almost to, yeah, apple or pear. I would say pear. Peach. There's definitely some kind of tree fruit in there. So, Jack Daniel Sinatra, I feel, is allocated for a lot of people. New Jersey seems to get their fair amount of it. Uh, however, pricing is different. We got this from Joe Canals Lawrenceville from Tony Carver. Uh, links all over the place. We did split this bottle. It cost $180, as we said in the beginning. $90 for a one liter of this bottle, I feel split between two people if that's the way you want to go about things. This is a great buy. This is really good whiskey. Uh, price varies dramatically. I've seen people list it for $260, $270, all the way down. I've seen it for $150, mm. but that's very rare cases. I feel $180 is a very good point for this bottle. Yeah. I, would, I would buy it again. Once this bottle's empty, if we go back to Joe Canal and it's there and I have the money, yeah, sure. I'd buy it again. Screw it. Yeah, I think I think two hundred is kind of my you know if I was gonna buy it again, I probably wouldn't go more than that. But I'm stingy. It, it I could gotta be, learn how to be you know, stingy. Yeah. <laughs> I think for some people it could be worth it, but I think you know, at the very least, I would say two hundred. You're not getting ripped off or anything. Yeah. It's a very unique pour, and I could see myself going back to it fairly frequently. Because it's very enjoyable. It's unique, but it's very enjoyable. 90 proof, I feel like, is the sweet spot. It's not too hot. It's not completely bleh, water. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, you know... Well done. Well done, Jack Daniels. And well done, Frank Sinatra. Thank you for giving your life so we can obtain this bottle. Out of 10... You're going to go first this time. See, I had a number in my head, and now I don't I don't know if it's too mean. I'll go nine and a half. What could make it to ten? I guess if it was cheaper. Right, so splitting it with him, I'm perfectly happy. <laughs> you know, technically I spent 90 bucks, right? So that, you know, pretty easy. Ten out of ten there. For 180, it's really good, but I just think you know that is that is up there, and I'm not a hundred percent. I haven't thought about the price point enough to know if that's if it balances with the 10 out of 10, because it is really good. It could deserve it, but just the whims of my mood have said no for tonight. So, I'm a nine and a half out of ten too. Again, at splitting this at ninety dollars, it's a piece. It's definitely a, a go, a buy. I would buy this all the time. I'm lucky enough to have him, where I feel like he would be in the same boat as me. And once this bottle runs out, if we want another one, he would probably go for it with me. Yeah. Um, Hundred and eighty dollars for this bottle, I would still pay it. I would still buy this bottle. Uh, if I was paying 180 for it, I would have given it a nine. It's still a delicious bottle. I wish it was cheaper. I think it could be cheaper. I think the price on this bottle is mainly because of the... I, I guess the fact it? that it's a leader, it's hard to get. It's hard to get. There's the name behind it, Sinatra. The name behind it. Yeah, it's Sinatra, Frank Sinatra, right? It's, it does feel like you're buying a little bit of a gimmick. Because uh, you got this box, you got the whole book about his life. Uh, but that's what stopped me from buying it in the first place. It's like, I don't want to buy this gimmick. Right. I don't want to buy this Frank Sinatra. Like, any any bottle of whiskey that's named after a legend like that, like like a, like a famous person, I have never found to be that good. However, this exceeds expectations. 
Jack Daniels Frank Sinatra is really good. Yeah, I guess that's the takeaway, right? You know, with with celebrity, you know, whiskeys and tequilas and all this coming out, it wouldn't be surprising for a brand to try and capitalize on Frank Sinatra, you know, and he kind of has like the whiskey vibe too, I think, right? Um, if anything, this video should say, you know, it's got all the bells and whistles, sure, but inside it's the whiskey is worth that much. This is all just like extra. Like 180 for just, you know, a plain lame bottle, you would be really happy. Um, right, 180 for a plain bottle of Jack, uh, Sinatra Select, you would be fine. The box and the book and all this is just a nice little, like, it's almost like, you know, thanks for buying our whiskey. You know, give yeah. you a little experience, let you show off to people. Um, yeah. Well, that about does that. Nine and a half, nine and a half. We agree. Very good whiskey. I'm Luke. I'm Frank. And this is Whiskey Bible. Be sure to stay in school so you can afford bottles like this. <laughs>